Okay, I'm going to try to make this a speedy unboxing of the uh, DJI Mavic. Uh, this is my first uh, proper drone. This came from B&H. I ordered on release day, September 27th. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, DJI Mavic Pro Fly More Combo. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. It, look at this. It's DHL sent to B&H. Now I ordered this on September 27th and I got it today. And today is November uh, 28th, I think. It's from uh, Shenzhen. Shenzhen, China. It's near Hong Kong. And it went uh, directly to uh, Isaac Epstein at uh, b &H. And there's this contact number if you want to call him to find out where your freaking Mavic is. No, just kidding. Don't call him. And it looks like 11.15. So it was shipped on 11.15. And I just got it today, uh, 11.28. So I don't know how, what kind of delivery, <laughs> what kind of shipping method did they use or... Or is uh, B and H just really slow to unpack? I was kind of scared to get something from DJI based on the feedback I've heard on reviews on their customer service and repairs and things of that nature. So, okay, let's see what's in the box. Again, this is a Fly More Combo. Here's the Mavic Pro, and in here is the shoulder bag, which is nothing terribly exciting. And then this is the Fly More Combo, actually. So the Fly More Combo uh, comes in its own separate box. I think a lot of people are probably going to be more interested in, in this. I was just wondering why that looks so junky. The weight of the uh, drone itself is uh, 1.62 pounds, um, including the batteries and propeller. With the gimbal cover, it's uh, 1.64 pounds. Uh, maximum ascent speed is uh, 16 point four feet per second in sport mode. Okay, here's the battery charging hub. Car charger. Car charger, I believe, is 50 watts. Car charger is a little more powerful. There's a uh, battery. And there's another battery. And there's a battery to power bank adapter. Oh, and an extra blades. Thumbnail time. That's the first thing I'm gonna do is start getting these batteries charged. So, uh, well, let's open a battery up. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Okay, standard DJI off-white. There's the battery, as you can see. And um, one and a half, I guess. Is that what you call it, one and a half? I saw some reviews where people were complaining about cracking. Now, I don't know if that's because it's uh, swelling or, or not. Um, but it says on here, uh, max charge voltage is 13.05, um, nominal voltage 11.4, the radio capacity is uh, 43.6 watt hours. So the watt hours will indicate how many you can bring on a plane with you. I don't uh, recall at the moment what the limit is, but uh, I, I don't believe you'll have a problem bringing um, three on a plane with you. There is a limit how many you can bring with you though. <laughs> oh my god. It's a tight fit. Hmm, same same amount of charge. Let's get these babies charging so I can fly it tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. It stinks. Need a charging hub. This is so you can charge more than one and not have to keep switching yourself. So you just put your batteries in there and kind of forget about it. And, um, but it only charges one at a time though. Ah, oh, there we go. It's very lightweight. It's hardly any weight to it all. Um, there's a status LED. Um, these are the battery ports and there's a firmware, up, firmware update port. That's for firmware updates right there. That's the power port, of course. So the power goes in here, the main power, and then it distributes to all of these. So it's kind of like pigs eating out of a trough. Man, the OCD in me wants to buy another battery. It's like it's missing something. Anyway, um, slow pulsing green means charging. Solid green means all batteries are fully charged. Solid yellow is waiting to charge. Solid red is power supply or battery error. 
uh, DJI reverse release firmware updates when available. This is the battery to power bank adapter. I honestly don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Let's figure it out together, shall we? Oh my God, it's so freaking tiny. What the heck? What is that? Let's look at the instructions, F figure out what this is. The Mavic battery to power bank adapter is designed to provide power from the Mavic flight battery to mobile devices such as smartphones or tablets. Okay. So basically your phone's dying, you're on the road, you just plug your cell phone into there. That's basically what it is. It's a cell phone charger. I totally knackered that up. Okay, so this is for your car. Now that one's easier to get out. I'm doing this way too late tonight. Thank God they put protective plastic on this. Otherwise it just would have got destroyed kidding of course so basically what you do is you take that plug it in there it has a place for the wire to come out through there and you plug this into your cigarette light lighter and then all she wrote you need um, 12.3 to 16 volts is the range 12.3 to 16 volts or 25 to 30 volts um, Okay, do semi-trucks use the higher voltage? That's interesting. 12.3 to 16 or 25 to 30. Hmm. The DC output power is 13.05 um, volts, six amps, 78 watts. Woo! Charge time's 54 minutes. Okay, props. Um, one has a white ring on it. And then one has no ring on it. So this is very stiff. Um, it's not like wobbling around. See, look. So the, when the motors spin up at speed, I guess they'll come out. So to prevent imbalance, you probably should, um, you know, whip them out yourself before you before you take off. Sp Bear props in case you royally screw up. Now, now for the main event. Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a little more weight than I expected. It says uh, unfold the front arms forward. So it tells you step by step what to do, like so. And then there's a Wi-Fi SSID in there, um, and a password for the Wi-Fi. So I'm press these buttons here, like so. And this comes off. So now, step two: unfold the rear arms forward. Put that there. Like so. And like so. And then the Wi Fi password and SSID is there also. And there you can see the ultrasonic sensors for the ground facing. And there's a camera right there. There's a camera and there's the ultrasonic, it's just like those um, uh, tape measures. Oh, there's a there's a camera there, you know, the wireless tape measure it sends the ultrasonic signal. Um, so there's the light camera, send and receive for the ultrasonic for distance. And then there's another camera there. So you got two cameras here, ultrasonic and avoidance. And you have the two front avoidance there. So that's some pretty good weight to it. So how do you know which prop goes on which? Because one has the white and there's actually a little Right there, you see how it's white? And then you look at this one, and you see there's no white on it. So the white ring uh, prop must go on there. So inside this box someplace, let's put this little piggy. Put this little piggy there. I just wanna, I just wanna get this first, the power plug. 
Ooh, a nice Velcro strap it comes with. Look at that. This is a USB cord here, a USB-C, and these little rectangular things. Yeah, it's micro USB. And probably what comes on it is the lightning port. It feels very stiff, very nice, good resistance. There's a regular USB there. Um, little uh, springy things there. This is a kind of a rubberized, rubberized. Looks like it'll hold the phone pretty good. Then here is something I don't need. Feels pretty good. Let's get the charger out. Let's see what's in here. No, oh, it's the manual. Don't need that. There we go. This is what I really want. Oh, they got plastic on it. Oh, I can't have scratches on your power supply. It's too precious. Got it. I'm not going to crinkle plastic. This is not an asthma video. I should do an asthma unboxing of, uh, of the Mavic. I wonder which one it picks to charge first. Maybe it, maybe it picks the strongest battery to charge first so you can get up and going. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They came with these nice little, nice little baggies. So this is white and this is white. And it looks like it snaps in like so. And you just give it a twist. That's it. And then do the same with this one. Wow, that's really easy. Let's take this gimbal cover off. Okay. And then this just slides out. Let's see if I have any mold in there. Everyone, everyone kept talking about how they got mold and stuff in there. I don't see anything in there. some kind of something on that cover. Let me get this off. Some kind of protective plastic on the top. I can't grab it. Okay, there we go. Oh, now it's an asthma video. I'm gonna take the plastic off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, there's no plastic there now. You know, for the first few flights, you may wanna keep this cover on. Ugh, you may have to clean it first. It's all, it's all marked up. That's disappointing. The gimbal seems the most sensitive in a crash. And if you crash it, it seems like the gimbal is what's gonna get damaged. So I don't care if my first few flights, the, the video doesn't look good. How do you charge this? Man, I'm gonna have to read instructions. I was confused because I didn't see where you would charge it. Because actually, I thought this was proprietary because it doesn't look like a micro USB if you look at that. Hang on, let me try to get the focus. See, it's square. It doesn't look like a micro USB, but actually, a micro USB plug plugs into there. Even though it look, doesn't look like a typical micro USB, it actually is. So, to charge it, you plug it in the side, and then you can go ahead. Wow, that's getting hot. Always takes three times to get USB ports. Everyone knows that. So that's charging, that's charging. This is, uh, I don't need right now. Uh, you know what? Can I undo this while it's, it's not doing anything anyway? Let's try to, um, let's try this one. So might as well save time and get this working too. Okay, power that on, there's a green light. And just plug this in. And try not to break it. <laughs> Let's see, did I break anything? No, okay. Just got too excited. So plug that in, and now that's charging. Cool, so 
We should be able to finish faster now with uh, the 12 volt charger. This is putting out 13.8 volts, so that's more than enough for this. Anyway, that's it. Wait, 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 there's more. I didn't, I didn't take this out of the box yet. Let's look what this is about. I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like the looks of this thing. It, it's kind of, I don't know. It's not very manly, I should say. It's just not very manly. It just looks like something some Hong Kong guy would wear, use. No offense to Hong Kong guys, but you know, in Hong Kong you have to bring a lot of stuff with you and um, you don't have a choice, but you have to have like little, little fanny packs and stuff. Uh, the quality seems decent. Supposedly everything in the Flymore combo will fit. Um, I don't know if they give you. They give you a strap. It looks like it might be watertight. It has that has that that look to it, that watertight look. I think it may be watertight. Not water. Whoops. Don't want to hurt you. Sorry. Okay, there's a little strap in there and storage and place for SD cards. It's a little, nice little man purse. I got some Pelican cases for more durable travel and, and waterproof and such. To, uh, I don't know. For a quick trip or whatever, this may, this may be all right. I don't know. I don't know what I feel about this. This is kind of feminine man purse looking thing. That's it. Uh, that's all I got. Maybe get my um, Pelican case and see if I can make everything fit in a Pelican case. 1200, I think I have a 1400 too. So anyway, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.